See, I had a messed up view of who God was. I had a, a father, earthly father who abandoned me all of my life, off and on, my earthly real father, even my earthly adopted father. So it gave me an askewed sense of who our father is in heaven. It made me feel like I had to be good, earn his approval, and then God would bless me. And if I was bad, he would punish me. And I developed this belief pattern that was terrible and, and it was restricting and limiting and destructive. Started selling drugs. I felt like ecstasy was the answer. I felt like, you know, this is the cure all because I felt like I could be totally myself. Just one thing led to another. And next thing you know, I'm selling cocaine, doing cocaine. The reason why I turned to drugs in the first place and the reason why ecstasy became such a problem for me was is because it helped numb the pain. It helped me forget about what was real in my life. And when I was finally in and, you know, in and out of prison, in and out of jail, uh, I was so broken and low that I had this breaking moment. I was like, Lord, either you set me free or kill me. And what happened was is I heard the voice. I heard a voice just spoke to me and said, Brian, you're forgiven. Now let's move on. That voice just gave me instant peace. And from that moment on, I knew that I'd been forgiven and that I was accepted by God. Now, by no means has it been an easy path. I still have to deal with ego. I still have to deal with parts of my life, the trauma that I had created in my life. And I've wandered off the path a couple of times just in my, in my walk with the Lord, but He gently brings me back. And what I've learned more and more is that His grace is ever present, even ever present in my lowest moments. And when I think that I'm so bad that God doesn't love me anymore, His grace just floods me and it brings me back. I'm like, God must love me so much that even though I'm just retching around, doing whatever I want to do, He's still going to provide the path. He's still going to lead me along. There is discipline, but He gently corrects my path and He brings me back every time with His love, with the opportunities that He provides, the connections that He makes, especially the connection with God TV. That's a God moment. Did I deserve that? No, but Jesus made it possible. And so to be able to tell the story and to be sitting on the other side of, you know, seven years, almost eight years clean and sober uh, with no drugs, absolutely none. You know, it, it's a blessing and it's a testament to His grace and how sufficient that is.